Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to send an SMS from uh, your computer to your phone for free uh, but it's going to be uh, limited. So actually before showing you how, I want to do a quick uh, demonstration how it's going to be so you can have an idea what we're going to be working on. So as you can see here, uh, I'm running a new Laravel project and I'm going to visit this route which is uh, send SMS. So now after, after visiting this route, as you can see, SMS sent successfully. And uh, now if I check my phone, I should be having a new SMS message. So now if I go to Vonash IPE dashboard, where I have an account uh, for free. And so basically you have a balance and you, you, you can then be able to send SMS to your phone for a limited times. So now if uh, if I do a refresh, it, the balance should be less since we have uh, just sent an ECMS to our phone. So now uh, let's move on to, to how you can actually do it yourself. First of all, you're gonna need PHP. I'm gonna leave all the links in the description. So you're gonna search by downloading PHP. You're gonna open it and you're gonna extract it to local disk C program files okay I already have it as you can see here uh, here is it PHP 8.3.1 but you can uh, download the I mean you can extra extract the last version it should be the same okay so after extracting uh, PHP to your local disk C program files now we're gonna move on to the next thing which is composer as you can see here is the download and run composer setup dot x that uh, you need to click here and you're gonna download it and install it as well and during the installation you're gonna have uh, to to pick the PHP uh, path as you can see here since uh, I told you to to install uh, PHP on program files uh, it should uh, already know it and it would be less complicated for you. So I'm gonna cancel this installation because I already have Composer. And uh, finally, we're gonna need XAMPP uh, for Windows. It should be easy to install as well. Okay, now after installing PHP, Composer and uh, XAMPP, now we're gonna type variables on our search. And then you're gonna open, open environment variables uh, here we're gonna move to path you're gonna double click it or click on edit and as you can see here down below uh, you can see that I have the path to my PHP and you can you can simply like copy it and the PHP 8.3.1 should be the name of the folder so feel free to rename it uh, if you want okay so so far uh, this this on this should only take you like few minutes like three minutes or five even if you are a beginner uh, now what we should be doing is uh, you can use uh, visual studio code you're gonna uh, open a folder again we're gonna go to disk c exam.p htdocs and you're gonna create uh, a new folder for me i'm gonna create vanash api i'm gonna select folder I'm gonna I'm gonna go here and press new terminal and uh, then I'm gonna use the following command composer create project Laravel and here you can change the name of the project let's name it Vonash and we're gonna press enter and we're gonna you're gonna wait for few minutes uh, for the installation to be completed so as you can see uh, guys i ran into a problem of uh, requirement and uh, we're gonna simply uh, add uh, this one ignore platform requirements after the command and it should be fixed for us okay Okay guys, so as you can see, finally our Laravel project is finally installed completely. 
and as you can see the, here is the folder for it uh, the name is your project name since we didn't change the name after adding the <coughs> ignore platform uh, command or parameter so now after installing the project uh, we're gonna simply uh, as you can see here in uh, getting started SMS you, we have to uh, do this uh, composer require Vonash client okay uh, after installing the Vonash client uh, package now we're gonna head out to routes and uh, web.php okay uh, also we're gonna run the command php artisan make controller and let's make a sms controller okay okay so uh, here we got the we got the error that uh, we could not open the input file artisan that is because we are still in the big file a uh, big folder vonash api so we need to get inside the your uh, project name uh, folder so for that you're gonna type uh, cd your project name like this and if i press uh, like this now it should be working okay so as you can see we have uh, just created a sms controller you can find it in app http controller and here is it you can even create it manually by right clicking and making a new file and name in it SMS controller.php. Now we are only a few steps ahead to, to send SMS to our mobile phone for free. So so guys, as you can see here, uh, we have the SMS controller and we have the web PHP for the routing. I'm gonna make it very easy for you and you're gonna find the code for the function send SMS. As you can see here, we have the AP, API secret and the uh, uh, we have the API key and API secret here. So basically, after creating your uh, Vonage API, you're gonna find this in the dashboard by clicking this hide icon. So you're gonna change it here. Uh, after that, uh, you're gonna need the, this certificate, which you're gonna download from this link, which is uh, curl.se sa slash, uh, and uh, here here is it. I already downloaded this one. And you're gonna have to store it in your uh, project your project folder then you go to storage and it should normally here now we're gonna just rename it like this that should be all now see guys you can you can do whatever whatever phone number you want with the with the country code, uh, of course. So since I'm from Morocco, I'm using uh, 212. And yeah, that should be all. And uh, finally, we can you can we can set a route for the for the function and uh, import the class of SMS controller like this. I'm gonna leave uh, all the code for you in the description as well, so don't worry about anything. I will also answer all your questions. So now let's actually do a test. Let's start by doing PHP artisan serve. And we're gonna control and click on this uh, link. Now we can simply do slash send SMS since it's the route that we we have here to run this code that we prepared it should again have your api key api secret and uh, your phone number and whatever text message you want and yeah that should be all now let's do the test and see if it's gonna work okay now we're gonna we're gonna visit uh, this route to see if our code is working Okay guys, so as you can see, we have SMS sent successfully and you should receive uh, the message instantly on your phone. So that should be all guys for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. And if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comments below. I will try to answer as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.